the participants, but the content which we are going to present is new. So I would like to request that if all of you can keep your video on because uh, this, this session is on interactive resources and uh, it's great if we get to look at each other to interact. So thank okay, you, Babu. Gesham. Yes. So Babu, till the time. Did you on good to wish? Till the time, others are uh, showing their faces or till the time others are switching on the video, I'll share screen. Is my screen visible to all of you? Is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am, it's visible. Oh, thank you so much. So, as I've already said that we are going to learn how interactive resources can be created. And uh, because this session is on interactive resources, we will also interact side by side. We would also like to um, have your inputs. So I would like to use the chat box in between. Give me a minute. I hope the chat box which I'm showing is, uh, I'm seeing is not visible to all of you. Okay. Okay, so starting with this. Yeah. So to start with, what are interactive resources? First of all, before learning any tool, we should know uh, what is the meaning of that particular resource. Someone has written not audible. Am I not audible? Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. And he is writing now audible. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so what are the interactive resources? We are going to learn the about these resources. We are going to learn how to create these resources. But before creating any resource, we should understand the meaning of that particular kind of resource. And that's why we are starting with this. So interactive resources are such kind of study materials which enable learners to participate, to reciprocate. So the motive is that we should engage learners. We should not only speak, but we should talk. We should not only convey the information, but we should indulge our learners. And that we can do with the help of interactive resources. So these resources, they promote, just a second. These resources promote better understanding of the concept. How? Because it helps in increasing the attention span. When we interact, when we are participating in any activity, then we stay more attentive. But if we are uh, simply listening to what's going on, we may lose interest. So that's why we prefer to use interactive resources because that enables the learners that uh, they stay attentive during the learning session. Just a second. Okay, which method? So I would like to ask you that uh, we are talking about interactive session, but we know that along with interactive methods, we have lecture method as well. So what do you think? Which one is better? Is it the interactive method, interesting, important, or lecture method? Which method do you prefer? Which method do you use in your regular classroom? So I would interactive method. Thank you, Kulshan ji. Okay, so I'm looking at that uh, participants have started answering. Yes. Raj Bhushan ji, Anjali ji, Ganesh ji. Yes. So, even if we, uh, even if we give lecture, even if we use lecture method, that is not used 
uh, that is not only used that is not only the method which is used means of course before interaction we should give some information also so we can say that we can use combination of lecture method plus interactive method first of all we give information and then we give a chance to the learners to interact as well we not only use one method we use both the methods so if you use interactive method that is what is actually required as all of us know that NEP is focusing on making learning more interactive. So we are not here to give uh, information only. We are here to take inputs from the learners as well. So it's great. I can see that so many participants have answered and um, most of you have written interactive. One of you has written both. So yes, that's true that both the methods are required because uh, while giving information, uh, that is uh, kind of one way mode, but it should not be maintained for very long. You have followed lecture method for a few minutes and then interaction. Then again, lecture method, then interaction. So that helps in keeping the learners engaged. Thank you so much for giving a response. If we go to the next slide, I would like to ask you, as you have said that you use the interactive method or you use both the methods. So what, which resources have you used till now in your classroom to make your uh, session interactive? Have you used any particular interactive resource or is there any other way which you used to have interactivity during the classroom. So please write your responses in the chat box. That which interactive resource do you use? I'm waiting for the response. Ion software that come with projector. Okay. Is it free, freely available, Kayan software? Visual classes, EduA, GeoGebra. Okay, nice. Okay. You ask questions and students answer. Okay. Kayan is not free. Demonstration role play, smart board. sharing views about the topic okay you give chance to the learners to share their views on the topic yes that also helps in improving their communication and skills local resources group presentation discussion okay play with method okay problem solving yes as you eat is interactive that's great. I have got to know about so many uh, new tools. That's why we always say that teaching is also learning. So when we teach, when we interact, especially when we interact, we also get the chance to learn new things. So you are also learning and I'm also learning. Okay, group discussion. Any other way of interaction? Question and answer, doing activities. What kind of activities? Storytelling, okay. So when you only use storytelling method, do you give chance to students, to learners, to add into the story which you have um, told? Have you told them to give a new beginning or a new ending or include a twist in that story? Have you tried that, Ram Bilal, sir? We can do that now. When we do storytelling, we can uh, involve students. 
to give new ideas for beginning of the story, ending of the story. Okay, by problem solving, uh, brainstorming, practical methods, lesson topic activities, simulation based learning. Okay, yes. Okay, Ram Bilasa, good. Classroom debate. Great. So I can see that all of you are uh, aware of importance of interactivity and you are using that in your regular classroom. So it's great to see that. And now I'm even more interested in uh, going forward with this session because uh, when the learners are ready, then uh, the, the, the instructor, I should not say the instructor because all of us are learners. So when learners are ready, we also get more excited to convey the information which we have for any particular tool. So let's move forward. Today, as you know, we are having interactive uh, session on interactive resources. Okay. Somebody has written not audible, but uh, since the uh, responses, I can see there are responses in the chat box. That means I am audible to maximum uh, participants. As I have said earlier, uh, if there is any network issue, please check that. Okay. So uh, let's continue with the session. So how can we create interactive resources? Whatever uh, ideas you have given right now, they are amazing and can be used even without uh, any technology. But if we include technology also, that will uh, add on to the experience. So today we are going to learn um, how we can create interactive resources. So in this session, we will talk about creation of H5P with the help of the software Lumi.education. So we will use Lumi.education. Yes. We will use, thank you for giving response. We will continue with the presentation and I will again interact with you very soon um, with another question. So we are going to create H5P. So in, in the next session also, you will get hands-on experience. Right now, you will get uh, the basic information. As I have said that both lecture method and interactive method are required. So in this session, you will get all the information with interactivity. And uh, in the next session, majorly it will be interactivity only. The focus will be on interaction by making you, by giving you chance to practice or to try creation of resources side by side. So we will create H5P resource with the help of which tool Lumi.education and with the help of these platforms, we are going to make education accessible, individual and exciting. So the resources will be used, can be used individually by the learner and they will be even more interested in learning when we use resources created by Lumi.education. How? That I'll tell you, that I'll show you in my further slides. Okay, so it's about why do we require to use Lumi.education? We use Lumi.education because it is free of charge. You do not require to spend a penny for this. So, along with this, we have, along with this, we get to know that there are 60 types of interactive content. So, to avoid uh, monotony, to avoid boredom, we can create different types of content. You can explore more and more contents because there are 60 types of interactive content available on Lumi.education, which you can create as per your need. And you can make your classroom, your teaching learning process even more interesting. And students would love to be in your classroom, would love to study the subject which you are teaching, if you will use these resources. So now I'm going to give you um, a glimpse of what kind of resources you can create. So 
I'll show you some of the types and but as I said, there are six types of resources. So you can explore each of them as you keep on practicing. So one of the type of resource which you can create is interactive video. We have learned how to create video and we will have another session also in which we will talk about how video can be created. But creating a video and creating an interactive video, they uh, these are two different things. So when you create interactive video, the learner is not only watching, but learner is getting engaged also. Learner is participating also while looking at the video. So that's how this kind of video is much different from the um, other type of video. But both of them have their own words. Then the other type is course presentation. You can create presentation. You must be thinking that you know about MS PowerPoint. Then what's new about this? So MS PowerPoint is definitely amazing. And uh, it gives a lot of uh, opportunities to have uh, to make our work even more presentable and interesting. But in course presentation, what we are doing, we are involving learners. We are not only making them watch what is given in the course or what is given in the presentation. We are involving them. They are answering and then they are learning side by side, they are proceeding further. Then multiple choice questions. So we, this is very common to all of us. We make multi MCQs, but uh, what if students are getting chance to give response at the same moment? So they are looking at the photograph, not only the question is there, but there are, there is photograph also. When we have, uh, when we get the visual experience, it adds on to the, quality of learning. So here we can add on images as well. So we are not only writing questions, we are providing photograph also. So by this, they will be even more interested and they may get some extra information while answering the question. We can uh, make fill in the blanks. Uh, we can create fill in the blanks. So here you can see that uh, there is a small paragraph. So we have created a task with missing words in a text. So here we have a paragraph. It's not typical uh, fill in the blanks that you have given many questions as fill in the blanks. Here we have given a paragraph on a particular topic. We have pasted a picture also. So those who, who don't, who doesn't know about these babies, they get to know that they, this is how they look. And then here they can answer, they can fill in the blanks in the paragraph. So they are not only filling the blanks, they are getting some information, additional information also, because we are talking about the same topic in few sentences. Then drag the words. So here, what we are uh, giving them here, this is also kind of MCQ, but much different from MCQ. So here, whatever the correct answer is, student has to drag that correct answer into the box. How that will happen? I'll show you. Mm, I had also created many such kind of resources and I'll show you some of them and I'll show that how words can be dragged into these boxes and if the student, if the learner gives a correct response, how it would appear, how if the student gives a wrong response, how it appears, all that will be shown after these types of resources. So, Next is drag and drop. So in that case, in the previous case, you had sentences and you were dragging the correct answer. But in drag and drop, this is similar to drag the words, but the only additional thing is we are adding images as well. So here in this, we are dragging the answer, but along with dragging the answer, we are getting a refreshing image and that is adding on to the quality of the resource. Okay, so now I'm going to give you examples of interactive resources which I had created. So I'll show you one of uh, one by one. And you can also explore the same because these are uploaded on Diksha. So I will go to Diksha only. I'll click on this link. 
is uh, is my screen visible is the uh, diksha portal visible no? okay so you can see that uh, diksha portal has opened because i had uh, attached a link in the presentation so this is uh, the interactive resource and here you can see that answers are given below and here the question is given so we need to read this sentence and we need to write answer so a bird which swims so if the child this is for uh, primary classes so a bird which swims so if i click on the correct answer then it will show like this it is side by side telling whether the answer is correct or not a bird which has black feathers so child knows that crow has black feathers a large bird which has beautiful tail feathers now if the student doesn't know and by mistake gives the wrong answer so you can see that the wrong answer is marked side by side that this is wrong and those are correct answers so this is how you can put answers so we can i'm just randomly putting so that you can get to know that how the answer appears so you can see that i have simply attempted and after attempting i am getting my response my marks also so i am getting score that out of 8 i have answered for i have correctly answered only four of them so i have got four out of 8 so we can show the solution also so with the help of lumi dot education the h5p which we are creating that It gives a chance to not only attend the question but to check where the student has gone wrong. So the student gets a chance that okay, uh, for this sentence the correct answer was peacock, not pigeon. So side by side they are learning also and they are correcting themselves. I hope I am uh, I am clear to all of you. So by the end of it. we get the score i'll show you the others here i think all of you must have thank you so much for giving response thank you so i have clicked on another resource which i had created i think all of you must have uh, rather than i assume i would like to ask have you ever uh, played uh, find the word scheme find the word scheme helps in improving our focus as well others can also answer whether you have tried this game find the words yes this game is very interesting and very addictive also so here what we are doing one of you um, means we promote learning by playing also especially in junior classes play with method <coughs> so sometimes we are providing a physical um, resources to play and sometimes we give digital resources to play so here thank you so much for giving response so here what we are doing we can uh, talk about we can um, list certain words which are related to that particular topic and we can tell them to search those words so by that especially in junior classes they will also get to learn the spelling also if they are finding it hard to remember spelling of these words they can learn the spelling while searching so i have searched round so whichever is marked here the same is marked here also you can see that this round is there is a tick mark in front of round and now it's not uh, appearing with black color but with green color then if i choose if i mark the other coordinate ovate so by this i am getting very much interested that okay i want to search all the words so student is learning also and side by side student is enjoying also so this is uh, what we need to do that we need to make learning interesting so this is what we are doing linear shape 
So this is how you can create, find the words on your own with the help of Lumi dot education. Let's do that. Okay, it's only linear. I was marking linear shape also. So if I was uh, trying to cover more than the required, then it was not getting selected. So you can do that here by the below at the at the bottom. You can see that how much time I have taken that is also displayed. So students can practice that. Okay, right now I have taken, for example, two minutes. Next time I have to complete it within one minute. So by that they are not only learning, their focus is also improving. Yes, yes, correct. Smooth is just above uh, text. Okay. Okay, so you were also finding side by side. Great. So see, you have also got interested in everyone, whether um, there is a child or uh, elders like us, everyone gets interested in such kind of activities. So after doing, after selecting all of them, we can click on check. And here it is giving me, showing me points that out of 12, there were 12 words and I have served only seven. So I can look at the solution that which one I have missed and then I can retry also. So when I have clicked on retry, the words are not at the same place. They have changed. The place has changed. So they will have to look again. They will not get the uh, same words at the same place like before. So this is very much interesting. Then we can go to the other. We have asked true and false questions almost in every class and in every exam because these are objective type questions. So we can ask true and false with the help of uh, H5P as well. So here, if you remember when I was uh, talking about types of interactive resources, so I had said one of them is course presentation. So this is one of the example of course presentation. In course presentation, we can put many slides here. At the bottom, you can see I'm just uh, hovering my cursor. So first of all, it's showing slide one, then slide two, slide three, four, five, six, seven. So I have prepared seven slides and you can prepare multiple slides. You can have different background in the slide. I have kept this blue color. You can keep white color also. You can uh, keep a photograph also. So you can attach photograph in the background to make it even more interesting. Or you can create simply a solid color like I have kept. You can write the topic. You can write the content which you require. And uh, along with uh, writing the content, you can ask questions. So you can make your presentation interactive. So I hope I'm not going too fast. Am I going, is my speed fine? Are you people with me? Take it fast. Okay. Okay. No problem. Uh, for some of you, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, some one of you had written a little fast, so I will explain further a bit slowly also. So most of you, it's fine. So it's great. Thank you so much. And one of you is asking for the afternoon registration. So it's not a registration form. Registration form was given only once in the beginning. And afterwards, we are providing only attendance form. So we will provide you attendance form in some in few minutes. Okay, uh, we are not creating on Diksha. One of you has asked crossword to create crossword activity on Diksha. So we are not creating on Diksha. Uh, we are creating on Lumi. We will create on Lumi. If you are talking about uh, find the words, so yes, uh, 
uh, my colleague is going to t is going to tell you that how different resources can be created. So after my session, uh, the session will be taken up with, uh, by my colleague, and she will tell you that how these resources can be created. So don't worry. In the hands-on session, you will get to learn how these can be created. So. I hope I have answered your query. Now I continue with this course presentation. So as I have said, just give me a minute. Okay, so slide one, in slide one, I have written class. Just a second. Okay, so in slide one, I have written topic. Then after that, you can ask questions about on the topic. So I have started with true and false. So as I have shown you in the types of resources, under course presentation, you can keep multiple types. So in this, I have kept true and false. And after true and false, I have kept one more type. So I'll show you that how you can... Uh, how you can present, how you can ask questions by different ways in the same course presentation. So here I have not only asked, I have shown a photograph also that how turtle looks like. So the question was related to turtle. Yes. So answer is false. Correct. Uh, that's great. And that's a really good idea that a few people will answer for the question. But these, all these resources which I'm showing are for primary classes. So you can easily answer. So, turtle can fly. The answer is false. So, we have got Vilash, Ram Vilash sir have got one point for answering this. So, by looking at the photograph, student gets more interested. Okay, turtle means primary children may not know how the turtle looks like. So, we are telling them that this is how turtle looks like. Then snail crawls to search for food. So here we have shown the photograph of snail, which is already crawling on the surface. Still, we are asking. So what should be the answer? True, correct. So we have got another point. Now we will try with the wrong answer. Cows not just to show how the wrong answer would look. Cows not only walk, but can run upon requirement. What should I mark? The wrong answer is false. So, yes, correct answer is true, which you have given. That's correct. But I wanted to show you that how the wrong answer looks like. So, as we had shown you earlier, that uh, we get the chance to show solution. So, if any child thinks that cow only walks, so here the child has marked false. And when we click on show solution, the correct answer got highlighted by green color. Then parrots swim to go from one tree to the other. False. So here we are showing photograph of parrot also. So we are not only asking question, we are making the question answer process interesting. Students would not think that, oh no, Again, we have to answer questions. Oh no, we have to face questions. If we will ask questions in this way, students will feel like, wow, I, I want to attempt this. Because um, see, you all of you also got uh, interested in attempting. Because the way we are presenting questions, that matters a lot. So here, it is drag and drop. You can see that in the course presentation, I started my presentation with writing content, the topic. And afterwards, I asked some of the questions related to two things, which were true and false questions. Now, in the same course presentation, I have added another type of resource that is drag and drop. So here you can see some six pictures are given and we have two boxes with the labeling animals that crawl, animals that fly. So student has to tell that, has to drag the photograph 
and drop into the correct box. So in the first box, which photographs should I put? Which photographs I should drag and drop? Somebody has written snail and snake. So in which one? Crawl or fly? First of all, tell in animals that crawl. Okay, correct. So snail, oh sorry. And snake. And those that by chance I included the third one also. Yes, correct. Tortoise. And uh, remaining are fly for fly. But it's not necessary. I can, by mistake, the student may get confused and has put this photograph in the wrong box. Then what will happen? Pigeons do not crawl, of course, but child can attempt wrong answer also. So how it will look? So you can see for every correct answer, plus one has appeared. But for a wrong answer, minus one has appeared. So plus one, but there are five correct answers. So we have plus five. We have got plus five, but there is minus one. So the final score is four by six. We get the chance to retry also. So student can reattempt and can answer again. There is another animals that walk or run, animals that swim. So you can tell which animals are walking, which, which animals can swim. All of us know. I'll just put that. Now, as you know, that uh, this is how. What I'm doing, I'm just clicking on the image. Yes, correct. Okay, yes, that's true that a duck can also walk. So uh, in that confusion, they can put here also. So we should not put such kind of uh, image which has both the answers. So ducks can walk, but ducks can swim also. So they are applicable in both the cases. So while when if we want to put such kind of photograph image, then we have to ensure that either they should fit in both the boxes. If it's not possible, then we should not keep such image because that would create confusion. Because here it is showing minus one if I am writing, if I'm putting it for walk. So, but this answer is correct. So we have to be very careful because as you know, children are very curious and uh, they may think like this and uh, this thought process is correct as well. So again, we can retry. Then we can write attribution. As you have talked about, as you have studied about OER and licensing, you know that we should mention from where we have taken information. The information we already had, but we have taken images. So if you are taking images, you should put the links from where you have taken images. So here I have written all the links. All the links are mentioned here so that there will be no, um, no confusion, no such kind of uh, that I have copied, I have taken, and I have not uh, given reference. That should not happen. So we should write attribution. And after that, so the final score, we get the final score. So how much we scored in which activity that will be shown in total and final marks are shown. Child can get the chance to have a look on the solutions or can retry, it will restart. Then this is the same, which I have already shown. This, I'll take you to this one. I don't know whether the sound would be Audible or not. I'll just do one thing. I'll stop share and I'll share, I'll select the share, share sound also. Give me a minute. Okay. 
So here you can see that as per the learning outcome, we need to talk about sounds produced by animals. So here, first of all, I have written learning outcome. This is also example of course presentation. So in this, first of all, I have written the topic, means learning outcome. Then I have written the topic. So you can see that we can add multiple slides in the same course presentation. Then going to the next, I'll enlarge it. Sound produced by cow. So you will be able to listen also and uh, what is the word used for that sound? That is also stone, moon. So we call it as moon. Was it audible to you? I had played it. Please tell, or was it audible? Yes, okay. Thank you so much. So by this, those who do not have any questions, thank you. So then sound produced by cat is meow. Everyone knows that. But for making younger children learn about it. So they'll be able to relate that, oh, the cat is producing sound. Then not everyone knows the words. We know that how, what is the sound of coat, but they don't know that what particular term, many of us even doesn't know that uh, what particular term is used, bleat and ma. So, so by this, we are giving uh, dual information. We are telling that this is how it sounds and we are also telling that this is the term used for their sound. So dogs bark, they growl. <laughs> so we have to ensure that the sounds which we are taking, they are also, their attribution is also given. Means we are giving attribution. We are uh, including the links from where we have uh, taken these sounds. So by this, uh, even though if we do not get uh, direct exposure to these animals, but at least we are giving them exposure to how they sound. What is the meaning of chirp? What is the meaning of Twitter? We usually tell that the sound produced by a sparrow is chirp. But how it, uh, what's the sound that we miss to convey? But by making such kind of interactive resource, not everyone gets a chance to um, watch a frog or listen to a frog. But by this, we are making them listen to their sound. I'm making you listen to each sound, uh, not because you don't know, but that will give a break to you also by listening to all these sounds. So I have included around 10 animals and here the attribution for each and every animal. So I have added links from there. I have taken these free sounds. So we have to ensure that the sound which we are ever taking, they should be freely available. And even though they are free, still I have uh, included the link from which I have taken to ensure that there will be no trouble in uh, showcasing my results. So just a second. Okay. So these were some of the resources which I had created. So before I'll uh, talk about the next thing, 
I would like to ask that you have seen so many examples. So which example you found most interesting and why? And which one, okay, first of all, of course, the one which you have found interesting, you would you would be interested in creating the same. So one of you has, okay, how to create it? Yes, as you know, it is mentioned in the schedule also that in the next session, you will get the chance to prepare, to, perform, to create these resources. So our resource person will tell you how these resources can be created. So you can first of all learn rather than directly starting with the trying to create the resource. First of all, learn how that will be created and then you will get the chance to create resource during the session itself. So a ma'am, pictures with sound, it can move. So pictures are not moving, but uh, the sound you can listen. So uh, if the picture is also moving with the sound, that means we are simply taking a clip. So in this, I have not taken a clip of the animal. I have taken only sound and the photograph. You can take clip of the animal also with the sound if you get that um, for free. Okay. You found all of them interesting? Yes. Yes, actually. When I also got to know about this, so I also found this mm, tool very interesting. Picture with sound is very interesting. All are interesting. Thank you so much. So, so you should be ready with that which resource you would love to create because as you know that in the next session, you will also get the chance to create for your learners. So anyone else? Anyone else would like to give response for this? Yes, correct, correct. So you will have such session also on animation in which we will talk about that, that uh, what is animation and uh, how, how it appears that there is a video. So that actually happens. We keep multiple pictures one after the other. And when we move them together, when we move them, when we move them just after uh, one another, it feels like that it is a video, but actually those are pictures. So we will have a session, but on another day, not today, on another day, we will have that session also. Okay, so I think we should, uh, sorry. So we should continue with the presentation. So next is create and analyze. Till now, we have seen examples of resources. We have seen that we can prepare so many types of uh, resources with the help of Lumi.education. So till now, we have talked about uh, creation of the resources. So when you will open Lumi.education, I'll tell you how to download, don't worry. So by the end of this session, or before that, in fact, I'll uh, tell you how you can download and I'll help you in the downloading process. So uh, Lumi gives two options. First is creation and then is analytics. So first of all, you can see, first of all, you can see that there is H5P editor. So when you will open Lumi.education, you will get these two options. So first of all, you will create content with the help of this H5P editor. After creating the content, you can share the created content because for whom we are creating the content? For the learners? For whom are we creating the content? Tell. Do you think that only creation of the content is sufficient or its dissemination is also required for students? Learn. Correct. So we are creating 
the resources for our students, our learners. So we need to provide these resources to them also. So how can we provide? How can we uh, get to know how much, how they are performing in the resource which we have created, how they are answering? So we provide, after creating the content, we provide, we save the content. And uh, when we save the content, uh, we can uh, get a link that is HTML link. So that HTML link is shared with the learners. When we send that link to the students, they can open that link in any browser simply. So they just need to click on the link and it, the link will open and uh, then they can perform. They can perform that. So whatever the performance will be, it will be shown in Lumi Analytics. So here you can see that the second block is about Lumi Analytics. So here, how the Lumi Analytics look like. So when a child will perform any particular activity, the final result will be shown here. You can see that name of three students are shown. Sarla, Amina, Janki, and their performance, the percentage they have got, that has appeared here. So you will not only create the content, you can analyze how the students are performing, how they are, whether they are able to answer correctly or incorrectly, where they need to get any kind of support. All that information you get under Lumi Analytics. So this is how the Lumi.education tool not only helps us in creating, but also in analyzing the content. So now it's time to download this app, this software. And uh, for this, you require desktop or laptop. So I'll just do one thing. Well, here I have written the link and uh, I will provide you the link. Just give me a minute. So I have pasted this link in the chat box. You can see I have pasted the link in the chat box. Please click on this link and this page will appear. Can you see this page? So first of all, open this. All of you. So when you reach what we are doing right now, we are downloading this software in our desktop or in the laptop. Why? Because in the next session, we require this software for hands-on experience. So please click on this, the link which I have provided in the chat box. And uh, when this page will open, this website opens, you need to scroll down. Here, all the information is provided related to this. And here it is providing us option of downloading. So you have to click on Lumi desktop download. You need to click on this download. Are all of you doing this? Have all of you opened this website? Please give response. Okay, sir. So as you have opened this website, you need to scroll down and click on this download option. When you clicked on Lumi desktop download. Okay, no problem, ma'am. Please uh, restart quickly. Uh, in mobile, you cannot create, but in mobile, you can attempt. As I have said, that after you create um, any resource, using Lumi.education, you can send HTML link to the students or to anyone you want uh, to explore. 
anyone to who wants to explore the resource. So you can send that HTML link to the learner and they can attempt that resource on phone, in the mobile. But uh, creation of uh, H5P using Lumi.education is not possible in the phone. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Desktop, laptop. Question G, desktop or laptop. In both of them, it will work. I am uh, repeating that this can work in laptop or desktop. So, please open this website in your desktop or laptop. Click on download for Lumi desktop. Then if you have Windows, then click on Windows. If you have Mac OS, then click on that. If you have Linux, then click on that. So like in my system, I have Windows. So I will click on Windows. So when I have clicked on Windows, the first option shown is download from the Microsoft Store. Recommended. So it's better to click on download from Microsoft Store. I have also done that. I already have this in my desktop. So I have selected download from the Microsoft Store. Here you can see there is an option of install. Click on install. When you will click on install, it will open like this. It will open like this one second. Yes, so when the this software will be downloaded in your desktop, it will appear like this. Here you can see I have already opened it in my desktop. The one which I had shown you in the presentation also, H5 Free Editor, Lumi Analytics. So I'll talk further about this once you will download. So please uh, inform me in the chat box whether you have downloaded or not, whether you have downloaded this software or not. We have to download in this session only. Please download quickly and inform me in the chat box. Then we will proceed. Okay. Okay, it's installing. Download it. Rest of you also. Please download. Please download quickly and uh, inform me. Been trying to download for the past 15 minutes, but it still shows pending. How come? Um, you can do one thing, you can refresh your system. Just click on refresh, please go to the desktop, click on refresh, open this website again and try to download. This must not happen, but if that is happening, you can try with refreshing. Let us slow. Okay. I'm waiting for that if uh, most of you will download it, then only I can discuss further.
it's only possible on laptop and desktop. Yes, yes, it is possible only on laptop and desktop. Everything is okay. Please switch on your video. Yes, download completed, but not able to open download it. Okay. Okay, so only few of you have downloaded. If all of you will not download, then how will you perform the hands on? Okay. Right? Okay, till the time. You are downloading. I was just uh, thinking of sending a link to all of you. Try and attempt one of the dragon thoughts. So those who have downloaded, they can try this. Just uh, open this link. Open this link in your phone or in your uh, desktop. Open this link which I have sent and attempt, try to attempt, drag and drop. So I have given you one of the activity. So all of you side by side download this Lumi.education and attempt this gamified uh, content also. We, we call these interactive resources as uh, gamified source also so it will work in the phone also the link will work in the phone as well it should i have tried on the desktop it worked if you are saying it's not working in the phone i'll try that also but it works because i have tried it and it worked. So all of you, please try this. Try to attempt this. I'll just check whether it is working in the phone or not. Till that time, uh, you can attempt it in your system. In the desktop or in the laptop, it will definitely work. What you need to do is... Okay. Yes. Um, but it is working in the. Um, it is working in the desktop. So I'm just wondering why it's not working.
Okay. Have you tried to open it in the desktop? I can show you. I have opened it. I'll share my screen. See? This is the same link which I have shared with you. And this link is working in my system. Is it visible? Is my screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So you can see it is working in my system. And you can see the same link is used, the same link I, I have used. Yeah, I have sent in the chat box. Okay. Yes. So the same link I have sent in the chat box, the same link I have just copied and pasted. You need to copy this link, paste it in the desktop and uh, okay, I'll send the link once again. Just copy this link, paste it in the browser and uh, this Interactive activity will open. Okay. Okay. Just give me a minute. Then till then, just... Uh... Okay, okay, we'll work out for this link also. Don't worry. Till that time, I have all of you downloaded this software. Have you downloaded this? Okay, no problem. I have said that we will provide, we will provide a link which will work in the mobile as well. Okay, so you are not able to download also. Why so? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, I have already said. But you can download that app also, no, till then. Download the software. Till that time, download the software.
Okay, uh, till the time we are sharing uh, evening attendance form. What we can do is we can, uh, till the time you download this app, this software, we can take a break and we can continue after that also. You are writing, it's not installing. But some of the participants have already downloaded. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I'm saying that what we can do is we can, you can download this software. The software is getting downloaded, no? Windows 10 and above. So, okay. So that means you have uh, the other version of Windows. Okay. Um, Kundra, Kundra Pamji, what you can do is you can download in another system if you have. Okay, you okay. Another participant is asking how to download H five P that I had shown in my screen share as well. That how you can download that. Just give me a minute. So how you can download, you need to go to the website which I have, the link for which I have already given. When you will click on that link, now I'll share the screen. So when you will search for this website, the link is already given in the chat box. You will see that this website opens when we scroll down. We get to know the features and when we scroll further, we get to know that there is Lumi desktop. So you can click on download option of Lumi desktop. When you will click on download option, they ask for whether you have Windows, Mac OS or Linux. So you need to click on Windows if you have Windows or depends upon which um, your depends upon the system your system. So whether you have Windows, Mac OS, Linux, you have to click on that particular one. I have Windows, so I'm clicking on Windows. So when you click on Windows, the first option appears is download from the Microsoft Store. Recommend it. So you need to click on this. This page will appear. You need to click on install. When you will click on install, it will be installed in your system. So is this clear? Saman sir? Is this clear? Are you able to download now? Okay. So what we can do is uh, you can download and ensure that all of you have system in which you have downloaded this until the tea break ends. And after the tea break, we will have this. We will have hands-on experience and we will also tell you the link which you can use for uh, performing any uh, the HTML link which you can uh, give to the students and they can 
attempt. Okay, so don't worry. You will get the query answered also. And uh, but right now, we need to focus on first of all downloading the software. Then only we can learn how to create. Without downloading the software, we cannot learn how to create. We cannot have hands-on experience if we do not have the software. Okay. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Nidhi Map, for providing the information about the procedure associated with the uh, interactive content development by highlighting the its open source nature for creation, sharing, and modification. So uh, for the next session, uh, we will get the hands-on experience uh, regarding the creation of interactive materials. So now we have 15 minutes tea break and after the tea break, uh, we will resume the session with hands-on experience. So we have already shared the evening attendance form. So I would like to request to everyone to please fill the evening attendance uh, form as soon as possible. And now we are going to 15 minutes tea break. Thank you so much.